Okay, in this second part, I will show you how to import your data if your data is a quarterly time series. So first is, so here in the code, I have already uh, copy and paste where my data is located. So you can just, okay, unless uh, if you want to do it manually, you can just go to file, import, CSV, and then point to where your uh, file is okay here for example then you click ok so now you have uh, imported the data so using the command that I have you start with clear set more off okay and then uh, here you can see that uh, so let's say we go through this one first okay so we can see that in this data we have uh, Okay, there are a few ways for you to import uh, time series quarterly data. So in my way, in my case, I prefer that my year and my quarter is uh, is we have two separate columns for year and quarter, and then here I have a GDP variable. So it starts with 1991 first quarter one two three and four. So you can uh, instruct Excel to do this automatically, or you can just copy and paste. Okay, so we have year, quarter, and GDP. So we have the year as, uh, so 1991 will appear four times. So each year will appear four times to represent the four quarters in one year. So, uh, so once you have imported your data in CSV format successfully, so now it's to generate uh, the date variable using the YQ, Q stands for quarter, uh, YYQ because year quarter and then we have the two columns just now in the data set the first column is year followed by quarter okay so uh, first column is year second column is quarter so uh, that's why we have the we use the YQ format generate Q date year quarter okay the first column second column and then we format the variable name Q date using the percentage TQ, okay, uh, Q stands for quarterly, and then we T asset the data, uh, T, T asset Q date quarterly. So let's highlight this, the last three comma, the last three lines. Okay, so now we have declared the data to be a time series quarterly data. So if you view the data, so you have the variable, the date variable as Q date. So 1991 Q1, 1991 Q2, 1991 Q3, and so forth. So there are other ways if you uh, search online or go to the Stata website. Okay, you can if if your data set originally in the form of uh, 1991 Q1, Q2, and Q3, I believe you can also declare your data set directly without using the YQ. Um, Format, okay, but I find it much easier and more uh, is is more easier for me to follow my data set by having a separate column for year and quarter. Okay, so this is if your data is a time series data. Okay, but if your data is in panel format, okay, so so let's clear the previous screen. So now we have nothing here. So clear set more off. So again, uh, this is my panel data sample data set. So I've imported. So again, you can just uh, import your data into Stata. So we can view the data first. So we have year in the first column, quarter in the second column. And then because this is a panel data, so I think this is uh, five country data sets, okay, for ASEAN five countries, Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, Singapore, and Thailand. So uh, we have two variables, export and import. Okay, but the main uh, variable in concern is the country uh, variable because this is a panel data set. So uh, again, okay, we use the YQ uh, format similar to the time series data just now. Okay, format Q date percentage TQ. So this is the same. Okay, except for the last three lines, okay, because if you, if you view your data, you will see that country, it detects as a string variable, str, 
Okay, so we want to rename country so that it we remove the the red become black color or it becomes uh, it becomes a float or integer variable. So we do this by format uh, encode okay, country. I rename as general uh, CTY. Okay, rename CTY. Uh, I rename CTY into ID and an XT set the command for declaring your data to be a panel data uh, id q date quarterly so let's um, do this okay so here we have my country uh, variable renamed to id okay so from red we change to blue so this is the correct format if you have a string variable okay and then uh, the q date is the date variable so you have now imported uh, or declare your data and uh, into stata successfully as a panel it's a quarterly panel data okay so this is how uh, you do it for a quarterly panel data